There are cases where somebody has to run away, like a domestic violence case. Somebody flees to someplace else. And then they get a check-in app. Just, know, don't do that. <laughs> There's also things like the GPS um, coordinates that are embedded on photos. They put a photo on, they put it on Facebook. And then the person who's been stalked in comes and finds them. Um, always on GPS, your cell phones are, of course, providing the local positioning satellite information. Your automobile is loaded with systems now. Um, <coughs> I've got a 64 Thunderbird in my garage that is inspected and working, and I have to register stuff. But that will be my under-the-radar car, because there's no computers anywhere near that. The radio doesn't work. <laughs> But ever since OnStar and the Cadillac systems, your car is communicating all the time. And now we're going to driverless cars. And you talk about intrusion on your privacy. In order for driverless cars to work, uh, there was a story on NPR just today. They have to have uh, communication with each other and with the road. It's not enough just to have cameras and say things, but if you're coming down the crossroad, then you should be broadcasting like, don't go into this intersection, here I come. Right? You're talking to the other cars. So now all the other cars are going to know where you go. And one of the students in my class, this was my graduate level, came up with a really clever one, said, in the future, driverless cars that navigate themselves, and there's a worn out to your wrist, and you get in your car to go to work someday, and it just drives you straight to the police station. <laughs> yes, right? You have now given away that control. If you were in my 64 Thunderbird, you'd have been fine. <laughs> all right, so I talked about the program. This is why I don't have apps, right? There's several different things here. I didn't ask about it before, but one is the end user license agreement, okay? Don't bother. It's six million pages long. It doesn't mean anything to you. Do read the privacy policy. How many of you read the privacy policy every single time? <laughs> no, it's worth reading, okay? Because some of these things will be intending to do things with your data that you don't want. It might be a, a decision. And this one scares me enough. It says, gee, I want not, uh, the main one is, I want access to your contacts list. And go, go away. I'm never gonna do that. They want to know my location? Probably not. They want to know my photos and my notes? Probably that's okay. That's probably uh, uh, not gonna be too bad. But when you are, are buying things at the restaurant, when you are doing things around town, this is mostly about paying for things, okay? Of what did you buy? These apps that allow you to pay for things with the phone, those are all going back into the databases. And remember the opt-in, opt-out question, right? That information gets traded between different companies. There's a big story, you can look it up still, uh, about Facebook just recently. Um, I've got a little thing here, it's not about that, but it's from the same group called ProPubica, which talked about the databases that Facebook is buying. So in addition to all the things that you have already told Facebook about yourself, um, there are these other databases that say bought from third parties, which they are combining. Remember the unique identifiers, the primary keys on those databases? That's how. And it builds up an entire file of you. And now, in the best of interpretations, it's entirely innocent. They want to serve you an ad that you're interested in, okay? I'm never going to be interested in a, I don't know, broccoli recipes cookbook, right? That will never sell, right? But I might be interested in a synthesizer or a guitar, some of this music stuff, for example. They're trying to serve me as some things that I'm interested in, right? That's fine. But you get to decide how comfortable you are with them knowing everything you buy, right? If you're buying it, except with cash, they will have it, right? That's why you use cash. And when you buy with your phone, all that stuff goes into the databases and does get traded in there. All right, and then contact list, who do you know? All this stuff is the informal information that you are exposing all the time. Now this is the one. This is the tricky part. Right after the 9-11 disaster, in 2001, the, the uh, United States government started a project called Total Information Awareness because there were these crumbs that had been left by the terrorists that they were taking private flying lessons, they were buying plane tickets, 
uh, that were one way, they were staying in these places, they had been to these countries, all this information was out there distributed across databases. And the TIA project was saying, all right, the agencies in charge of your security are going to combine all this and connect the dots and put it together. And that was a massive, difficult data problem. And they did not solve it. That project collapsed. However, we've gotten a lot smarter and a lot better with this since then. And these things are starting to work now. Mainly, again, because of more fun. We can just get through enough of it that we've, we've got control. All right, so here's one more. This is the combining the information available that the police have. Out in Fresno, California, you can see the second paragraph here. They scoured billions of data points on arrest reports, property records, commercial databases, deep web searches. That's all those databases I'm talking about. And they have a system that can do them all at once, apparently close to real time, because it was a 9-11 call, and it calculated this threat level right there. All right, well, that's a, a, a brilliant result for that. But you can also think about all the other ways that information can be combined to violate your privacy. And that's just as a, an IS guy, that's, that's impressive that they're able to do that because it's a, a massive data crunching problem. And it really is at least billions of data points. But they've got this 